Snakes are some of the most varied type of animals on our planet, and some of them are absolutely spectacular. Snake species have an incredible range of colors, patterns, and formations. Let's take a look at the top 15 most beautiful snakes on Earth. Number 15. Bush Viper Bush vipers are probably the cutest types of snake on Earth, mainly due to their unusual scale configuration around their heads. There are actually 17 different known species, all of which are native to sub-Saharan Africa, and they live almost exclusively in rainforests. They're quite small snakes growing to between 16 and 31 inches long in adulthood, and have relatively large eyes that are used to search their surroundings for prey. They have triangular heads which are distinct from the rest of their bodies, and are covered in smooth scales. A wide variety of colors are possible, even with the same species, which means that no two bush vipers will ever look alike. Their diet is made up of mostly lizards, rodents, birds, and other snakes, but they've also been known to hunt frogs when the opportunity presents itself. Bush vipers spend their entire lives living in trees and use venom to incapacitate their prey. They'll usually hang from a branch until their victim is weak enough and then proceed to swallow them whole. This venom has the potential to be dangerous to humans, especially because they're increasingly sought after as pets because of their unique appearance. But the full risks are yet to be fully documented. Number 14. Red Bamboo Snake The red bamboo snake is a species that's native to forested regions of southeastern Asia. Also known as the Red Mountain Racer or the Black Banded Trinket Snake, they're identifiable by their vibrant colorations. Their bodies are usually shades of red or orange, with a series of black stripes that either run along them or form bands around them. They have narrow, oval heads that aren't easy to distinguish from the rest of their bodies, and jet black eyes that are sometimes surrounded by a yellow ring. Red bamboo snakes are a type of rat snake and are terrestrial species that are often found hiding in leaf litter, fallen trees, or hiding beneath rocks. They prefer cooler temperatures, so are only active during the late evening and nighttime, and it's then that they hunt down rodents and small mammals to feast on, but will also opportunistically prey on other small animals if they get the chance. They tend to grow to around 50 inches long, are shy, and will avoid confrontation at all costs. They're fairly docile and easy to pick up, and are fairly easy to keep in captivity. This, along with their amazing colorations and negligible danger to humans, means that they're an extremely popular species for collectors. Number 13. Golden Tree Snake The golden tree snake is a species that can be found across South and Southeast Asia, where they live in the trees of forested regions. They're usually green in color with black, gold, or red markings, and have flattened heads with blunt noses and large pupils. Typically growing to a maximum of just over four feet in length, they're a mildly venomous species that hunt other arboreal animals like lizards, bats, and rodents. While their venom helps incapacitate their targets, their preferred method of attack is simply by grabbing an animal by the neck in their powerful jaws and crushing them. As they can spend most of their time in high places, they are excellent climbers and can often be seen racing up coconut palms and near vertical rock faces. In pursuit of prey or to evade predators, golden tree snakes have a unique ability at their disposal. They're able to glide through the air. While not as adept as other species of flying snake, they've been known to cover distances as far as 330 feet and do this by launching themselves from high branches and holding their bodies in a rigid shape that acts as a parachute. It almost looks as if they wriggle through the sky, and this motion helps propel them even further forward towards their landing spot. Number 12. Sunbeam Snake there are two recognized species of sunbeam snakes, which are found in Southeastern Asia, in countries such as Myanmar, China, Cambodia, Vietnam, and the Philippines. They tend to grow to a maximum length of around 51 inches and spend most of their time hiding in ground-based habitats, like holes in trees and in the undergrowth. They are mainly nocturnal hunters when they search for frogs, snake, and small mammals, and instead of using venom to capture their prey, they're constrictors, so wrap themselves around their target and squeeze them tightly until they fall unconscious. At night, their dark red, brown, or black scales help camouflage in with their surroundings, but during the day they become far more spectacular. This is because their scales are iridescent and reflect a whole array of colors from the light that bounces off of them. It's an adaptation that helps them remain hidden in low-light environments, but is so noticeable in the daytime that they have no choice but to keep out of sight of potential predators. Normally, a snake that looks like this would be extremely popular to keep in captivity, but sunbeam snakes don't react very well to being handled or kept in confined spaces unless they've been in that environment from birth. It's for this reason that they're rarely seen outside of their native habitats, and even then they're extremely difficult to find. Number 11. Blue Malayan Coral Snake 
Found in Malaysia, Burma, Thailand, and Indonesia, the blue Malayan coral snake is a particularly vibrant species that lives in the leaf litter of forested regions. Growing to around six feet long, there are three subspecies that are known about, each of which has slightly different traits. What's common across all of them is their amazing coloration. They have red heads and tails and bellies, dark blue or black scales along the top of their backs, and lighter blue stripes along the length of their flanks. While they may look cool, if you ever encounter one of these snakes, you should approach with extreme caution. This is because they're highly venomous, and the bright colors are a warning to other animals to stay clear. In fact, blue Malayan coral snakes have abnormally large venom glands that extend for around a quarter of the length of their entire body. And the toxins they produce are very different to those found in closely related species. Because of this, there's no anti-venom to treat bites, and they have potential to cause temporary paralysis and even death. When confronted with a threat, they'll try to escape if possible, but they might instead raise their heads and tails in an aggressive stance, and this is a sign that they're about to strike. Number 10. San Francisco Garter Snake Found in San Mateo County and Santa Cruz County in California, the San Francisco Garter Snake is a subspecies that's been on the brink of extinction since it was declared at risk in 1967. It's thought that there were only one or 2,000 adults remaining in the wild, and this is a problem that's come about not just because of habitat destruction, but because there's such a high demand for them in captivity, because they're such a beautiful looking snake. Usually growing to between 18 and 55 inches long, they have red heads that are only a little wider than their necks, and relatively large eyes in comparison to other garter snakes, which allows them to be effective hunters during the day. Their bodies are lined with scales that are stripes of blue green, black, red, or orange, and while they don't have any fangs, they can inflict fatal bites on prey because of the presence of toxins in their saliva. They're usually found around freshwater sources because that's where their preferred prey, the California red-legged frog, lives. They are extremely elusive and will hide in the undergrowth or waterways to avoid being seen, so it's a privilege to even catch a glimpse of one in the wild. As a protected species, it's illegal to try to capture or interfere with a San Francisco garter snake in any way, and it's hoped that these rules will help population numbers recover and allow them to thrive in their natural habitat once more. Number 9. Malagasy Leaf Nose Snake This strange-looking snake is the Malagasy Leaf Nose Snake, and it's a species that's native to the island of Madagascar. It's an arboreal species that lives in the country's forests, and its incredible appearance is developed for one main reason to ensure it blends in with its surroundings to help avoid detection by predators. They grow to around three feet long and are known mainly for their highly unusual flattened snouts. For males which have brown and yellow bodies, the snouts are long and tapered, while for females which have gray bodies, the snouts are shaped like leaves. They typically wrap their bodies around branches with their heads hanging beneath to look like a vine, and they'll stay like this for most of the day and wait for prey to pass by. If they spot a tempting lizard, they'll lurch at it and grab it in their mouths and are able to inject venom that is fast-acting on small animals. They are, however, considered to be a fairly docile species and will only become aggressive if they feel they have no choice. They try to avoid biting unless it's to capture food, and in any case, their venom would cause little more than a rash if they were, in a rare case, to bite a person. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and Hit the like button. Number 8. Palmetto Corn Snake The Palmetto Corn Snake is a relatively recently discovered subspecies of corn snake, but the first only being found and identified in 2008. It was discovered in a backyard in South Carolina and has such incredible markings that there was uncertainty to begin with about whether it was the result of an abnormality or because of a genetic mutation that could be replicated. Occasionally, a snake will be born with a completely new color set like this, and it's only after attempts have been made to breed them that it's known if a new variety is viable. It even took a while before experts were sure that it was a morph of a corn snake or a different species, and once this had been ascertained, the decision was made to name it after the state it had been found in. Usually growing to around two feet long, this isn't a species that's common in nature, and their existence is purely due to the trade in exotic animals. Their white bodies with brown or red mottled patterns throughout make them unlike any other, and as a result, they become highly collectible, meaning that from one original individual, there are now hundreds and possibly thousands of them in captivity across the country. Number 7. Waggler's Pit Viper Named after the German herpetologist who first described them, Waggler's Pit Vipers are a species of snake that are native to Southeast Asia, but particularly in Malaysia where they are called temple vipers because they're present in such large numbers around the temple of the azure cloud. 
they grow to just over three feet long and have big triangular heads with much thinner bodies. They're found in forests where they live almost exclusively in trees and have developed strong, agile tails to aid with climbing and hanging from branches. This is unusual for pit vipers, but there's such a variety of potential prey where these ones live that they simply have no need to venture to the ground in search of a meal. What's particularly special about this species of pit viper in comparison to others, though, is their coloration. They can take on a range of different hues and patterns, which, rather than indicating the existence of a subspecies, are instead referred to as phases. These can vary from base colors of black and brown with orange and yellow bands, all the way to green base colors and brighter colored bands along their bodies. As with many animals, these colors are designed to warn predators of the dangers Waggler's pit vipers pose. They have a potent venom that contains toxins that no other snake produces and have in some cases been isolated and used as an ingredient in some anti-wrinkle creams. Number six, eyelash viper. The simply incredible looking eyelash viper is a species of pit viper that's native to Central and Southern America. They're relatively small, growing to just 32 inches long at most and can be a range of colors, including yellow, red, brown, pink, and green, and can be either a solid color or a combination of several of them. As with other pit vipers, they rely on their venom to hunt, which is delivered through frighteningly sharp retractable fangs that look like hypodermic needles. And they'll go for animals like birds, frogs, lizards, and rodents. Their eyes, too, are unusual in that their pupils are vertical slits, but the most noticeable feature of this particular species are the structures on their heads that look like eyelashes. These are, in fact, growths of modified scales, and there are two theories as to why they've developed them. The first is that they help with camouflage and actually alter the outline of the snake's head when it's hiding in foliage to make it look like more of a natural part of the tree. And the other is that they help prevent debris from falling into their eyes as they move across branches. According to local villagers in some parts of the Amazon where eyelash vipers are present, the snakes will wink at victims before biting them with venom and show off their eyelashes in the process. Unfortunately, this can't be the case because snakes don't have eyelids, but it could well be that the snake is moving its heat-sensing organs forward, which are between its eyes and nostrils, to detect whether the venom is taking effect. Number 5. Ringneck Snake Ringneck snakes can be found across North and Central America, where they live in a range of different habitats, ranging from woodlands to wetlands, and anywhere that there's cover and opportunities to build well-hidden dens. There are actually 14 known subspecies, each of which has its own unique traits, but they all typically grow to between 10 and 18 inches long in adulthood. They have a wonderful range of different colors, whereby the top sides of their bodies are usually an olive or dark brown or black tone, with a single brightly colored ring around the neck. This shows that there's more to see than it initially seems, and their undersides are covered in this alternate hue along with a series of black spots. This can range from a deep red to orange to bright yellow, but the only time you'll see this, unless you're handling one, is when they adopt a defensive posture. At night, when they're hunting, their topside color allows them to effectively blend in with their surroundings, and they usually flee to safety at the first sign of trouble. If they're cornered, however, they'll curl their tails up, which reveals their bright colors, and hopefully be enough to frighten off any attacker. They can back this up with their venom, but with rear-facing fangs, this is an absolute last resort. Number 4. Green Mamba while snakes can come in virtually any color you can think of, we quite often associate them with the color green, and there's no more beautiful species like this than the green mamba. It is, of course, closely related to the black mamba and is a surprisingly fast and dangerous snake, but their bright green color makes them look almost unreal. They're native to coastal regions of eastern Africa, in countries such as Kenya, Malawi, and Zimbabwe. It's a species that avoids confrontations at all costs, so it's extremely rare to see in the wild especially as their coloration allows them to blend in with most plant life. Growing to around six and a half feet long, they actually have a mixture of green and yellow scales, while juveniles have a blue tint to their tone. They mainly live in trees where they hunt birds and eggs, and are rarely found on the ground unless they're in a particular need of a different food source. Of the three species of mamba, their venom is the least powerful, but this doesn't mean they're harmless. Bites on humans are thankfully rare, but if they do strike, they tend to bite several times, and this will inject enough venom to cause serious symptoms, which include dizziness, nausea, convulsions, paralysis, and death. They may look beautiful, but this is one species to watch from a distance. Number 3. Texas Coral Snake Native to regions across southern U.S. and Mexico, the Texas Coral Snake is the most recognizable species of coral snake because of their amazing colorations. 
growing to between two to four feet long, they're covered with alternating ring segments of red, black, and yellow. Their scales are smooth and they have round heads, and they have one of the most unpredictable personalities of any species of snake. One moment they can seem calm and in an instant they may turn around to attack, which is something that poses a real threat, because they're also one of the most venomous creatures on the continent. Like all coral snakes, they're nocturnal and usually hide away and only emerge when they need to hunt. They mainly feed on other snakes, including ones of the same species as themselves, and will also sometimes go for lizards or rodents. Because of their potent venom, a number of other non-venomous species have developed a similar look to trick potential predators, and it's for this reason that there's a phrase that only works in the U.S. that says, red and yellow kill a fellow, which refers to the fact that on a Texas coral snake, the red band always makes contact with the yellow one. Without treatment, it's estimated that 1 in 10 envenomations by a Texas coral snake will end in death, but attacks are extremely rare because they're a naturally shy species. It's for this reason that, despite there being an effective anti-venom, no manufacturer actually produces it, so it isn't available if someone finds themselves on the wrong end of one, and they have no choice but to face the odds. Number 2. Horned Desert Viper Found across the desert regions of northern Africa and throughout the Arabian Peninsula, horned desert vipers are an incredible-looking snake that appear to have horns that grow above their eyes. Quite why they've developed these structures isn't fully known but it's thought it could be related to the environment that they live in and may help prevent their eyes from being covered with sand. They're yellow, gray, pink, or brown in color, which usually matches the environment that they live in in order to aid with camouflage, and they typically grow to around two or three feet long. They are sidewinders, which is the most effective way for a snake to move across surfaces covered in sand. And when they feel threatened, they're able to rub their coils together to produce a rasping sound as a warning. They don't tend to move around a lot, though, and are ambush predators that lie in wait before suddenly striking at prey that passes by. They have a more powerful venom that has the potential to be lethal to humans, but they're more than likely to avoid an incident if they can, and will only bite as a last resort. Number 1. Rainbow Boa Possibly the most spectacular-looking and surprising species of snake in the world is the Rainbow Boa. Native to Central and South America, they're usually found in woodlands and rainforests, but have been known to venture into open savannas and built upon areas in search of food. There are five known subspecies, with the most famous being the Brazilian rainbow boa, which is found throughout the Amazon basin. They grow to around five to seven feet long and are excellent swimmers, which is something that allows them to chase their prey for extended periods of time before catching them. As a species of constrictor, though, they prefer to wait until their target is close by and then wrap their muscular bodies around them and squeeze tight to make it impossible to breathe. Once their target has been subdued, they can then begin to swallow them whole. What's amazing about them, though, is that, as their name would suggest, their bodies are covered in vibrant colors. They range from red and orange to mahogany brown and have black ring patterns all along their bodies. Their scales are, however, iridescent, so when the sun's light bounces off of them at the right angle, they can appear to be any and every color of the rainbow. This has led to them being incredibly popular as pets, even though they require very specific humid conditions. Collectors have to really want one to make it work, though, because they aren't exactly the friendliest species to begin with, and you should expect to be bitten a number of times before they settle down and become used to being handled. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.